intensify. Eventually, we become a hurricane over the next couple of, uh, probably in the next couple of hours, we'll see it become a hurricane. As it continues right now, just a tropical storm will strengthen and become a hurricane moving to the northeast towards the northwestern portions of Florida. We can see that track becoming a category three hurricane just off the coast west of Tampa and then making landfall in the northwestern portions of Florida. But for Tampa, they get most of the storm surge brunt of it and that will cause major flooding and major issues along the western portions of Florida. Mike Scanlon will check in with him tonight about 10:15 for an update on how people are preparing for this upcoming major hurricane. Temperatures below normal across the central United States. So it's feeling really good compared to where, especially compared to where we've been. The heat has been moved out west, but it is about to return. It's knocking on our door right now. And unfortunately, somebody's about to open the door and allow it to return with a vengeance. As we look at the next eight to 14 day outlook, we're looking at a wide area of above normal temperatures from Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri and Iowa, cooler than normal in the Pacific Northwest. So it's kind of flip flopping. You know, they're hotter than normal now. Well, they're about to send the hot air east again right over the central United States and dry weather looks to prevail over the next eight to 14 days. Temperatures normally in the lower 90s for highs. We're gonna be above that this weekend, mid to upper 90s as we head into Labor Day weekend, 97 on Saturday, near 100 degrees on Sunday. Outside right now, Wade's RV Weather Camera Network, mostly fair skies, temperatures in the mid 80s, beautiful afternoon. Our high today, 86 degrees, about five degrees below normal. Enjoy it, because that's about to change. 62 was the morning low, and one of the more important numbers on this map right here is this number right here, 48%, which is perfect. Lower humidity as the dew point is down to 63 degrees. And it looks to at least the next couple of days to hold down, meaning that it won't be humid, but it will begin to turn hot again. 65 tomorrow morning, prior 65, Stigler 65. We head towards the five o'clock hour. Uh, hot day, not that humid, thankfully, upper 80s to lower 90s across the area. The 10 day forecast, lower 90s on your Wednesday, Thursday, mid 90s to upper 90s as we head into the weekend with partly cloudy skies, slight chance for an isolated shower storm next Wednesday and Thursday, but overall just hot and humid expected the next 10 days.